Gents, here it is. At 1,700 hours, our combined forces will leave Platero. We'll split up here at the Pampanga River. Captain Pahoda, you'll continue to the Kabu Bridge where you'll set up a roadblock. Captain Hosan, do the same on the highway in case the Japs send reinforcements from Cabana to one city. Your objective is to seal off the area of operation during the raid. Any Japanese reinforcements get through you, they get to us. Now we'll need as much darkness as we can to get the POWs out of the camp, which means we'll have to begin our approach during daylight and risk detection. We break the tree line, Lieutenant Riley's platoon will head to the east side of the camp. Sir. The rest of us will advance a low crawl for the main gate. How much cover, Captain? There's intermittent cover up to 200 yards from the camp. After that, we're totally exposed until we reach a ditch 30 yards from the front gate. This is the camp. This is the main service road, POW barracks, all enemy occupied. Suspected tank shed, main gate. This is the ditch we're trying to reach. Again, until we get there, we're completely exposed, so we may need to create some diversionary action in this wooded area to the northeast. Sir, how about a plane? Could you have one of your planes fly over to the camp? Not without breaking radio silence. It's not a bad idea, Bob. Might be worth the risk. Good. Now, as we make our approach, Lieutenant Riley's men will make their way along this ditch, leaving men at 20-yard intervals to engage and reduce the enemy. Lieutenant Riley, as soon as you're in position here, in the southeast corner, your first shot will kick off the action. Understood. Good. Meanwhile, the rest of us will be in position here. As soon as we get the signal, Lieutenant Foley's second squad take out the guard tower and sentry shack. And cover first squad will open the main gate. As soon as first squad is inside, they'll flank right, lay down suppressing fire on the enemy officer area, and cover the guys heading toward the suspected tank shed. I want Corporal Aldridge and his loader to run the 200 yards. I want a backup team in case they don't make it. Any tanks get loose, we're all in trouble. Yes, sir. Extraction's next. Lieutenant O'Grady, 2nd Platoon, will make their way through the main gate and force entry into the POW area. 1st Squad will spread along the south fence and lay down suppressing fire to the enemy rear. Objective is to make sure the POW barracks are protected from enemy fire in all directions. Once that's achieved, Lieutenant O'Grady's 2nd Squad will round up the POWs and lead them to the front gate, where Dr. Fisher and the medics will be waiting. Our aim is to make it back to the Pampanga River, where the caribou carts will be waiting to escort the prisoners. As soon as I'm satisfied we've left no one behind, I'll fire a Red Star cluster to signal the raid's over. Any questions? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, who's the last man out? That'll be me. He'll cover me at the front gate. Yes, sir. Anything else? Brief your people, get them ready to go. We'll leave in two hours. 